Outlander! Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Veya must be going through right now, but she shouldn't be alone. Now you has responsibilities to tend to. Morag Tong responsibilities. Understand? You do understand. And now you imply you're as dense as the ash storms coming off Red Mountain. Good to know even the Mother of Blades can be wrong. Ve Another thing. Nayu's job concerns House Redoran. That's why she didn't want Veya to accompany her on this one. Veya's grief-stricken, angry, and ready to lash out at anyone and anything. So keep... I have experience getting on a lot of people's bad sides. Women, especially, find me exasperating. Shall send you to check up on me. I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is going to find my dagger in their stomach. No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult finding poor Auran in the Ashlander camp. I know, but Nariu's writ. It involves a Redoran counselor. Exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. Well, Nariu wouldn't tell me any specifics, but she trained me well. It wasn't hard to sneak a glance at the writ before she took off. I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at Arenim Manor. My father used to say it was used by counselors as a retreat, but mother always told me it was where they conducted business that required a certain degree of privacy. You... you did? How did he take it? I mean, really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us in his own way. He didn't expect... <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. Either of them. That's why I had to get away. Join I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what happened to my brother, who was involved, and then I'm going... That's all I've been doing. Thinking. And I think Ulran was right. I Riven's as stubborn as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders... You name an issue, and Olrand and Briven were probably on opposite sides of the argument.
I expected you hours ago, hero. It's not for life. I was wondering how long it was going to take Vea to convince you to follow me. But she thought I didn't notice when she glanced at my writ, didn't she? I know Vea wants answers, but this is my job. There are rules, especially where the lords of the great houses are concerned. First, don't kill any Redrans. That's a violation of my writ and could have serious consequences for both of us. Second, you sneak around and search for anything that pertains to Ulran's exile while I figure out how to deal with the counselor. We need to be invisible. These things work best when no one but the target knows we're there. If you get spotted, you're on your own. I even cough on anyone without a writ, and the Morog Tong will have my head. It's unusual, but not unheard of. True, most writs taken out against the houses target low to mid-ranking officials. The Grand Master is cautious when it comes to accepting such a high-profile writ. Councillor Dovera has been conspiring with House Drez to promote the slave trade and avoid scrutiny by Redrin and Pact officials. I'm not privy to the laborious investigations that took place. In cases like... See what you can find pertaining to Ulran. I've got a dagger and writ of Councillor Dolvara's name on them. So House Redford issued in this advisory against the Moral Tong? That never should that probably do that Councillor.
If we don't find anything, maybe we can ask an invitation to the upcoming council meeting. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer our questions. Hoping for a quick stab and go, but it seems the Counselor might actually know something about Auron. So Counselor Dolfra does know something about Vea's brother. Damn it all. Now I suppose you want to actually talk to her before I execute the walking pile of pond scum. Of course we do. I specifically waited for you to arrive because I figured that would be the case. We discovered that the next meeting of the High Council will take place at the consulate outside Vormra. The war clause and the Ashlander abuse aren't completely sanctioned by the house, and Dolvara was present when Ulran was exiled. That means we have to get Dolvara to spill her guts before I spill her guts. Be quick with your questions, hero. When I slip in, so do my daggers. Ah, you must be here about those pesky patrol schedules. After all that clandestine correspondence, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Now, come closer so we can celebrate our partnership in a proper fashion. Well, look at you. I'm impressed. The last person House Drez sent over was so much more... scruffy. The noble's banished son? Why does House Drez care about that? Never mind. Anything so we can get to the good stuff. Ulron was tested and found wanting. Cho Ulron's dead? Hmm. I hadn't heard. As to who was behind the test of Ulron's loyalty, what does that matter? He failed and paid the price for his poor choices. What? You aren't clever enough or pretty enough to avoid what's about to happen, Dolvra. What's the meaning of this? Who are you people? I'm a Morog Tong with a writ that says you're a criminal and a traitor. That means I get to end your miserable existence. Hmm? <laughs> Take another look around, hero. Alakir massage oils? Fancy. But that has nothing to do with Ulran. More proof that Dolvara was in bed with both House Halai and House Dress.
That's Captain Bruven's seal. I suppose our evil counselor courted favor wherever she could find it. The good Captain Bruven appears to be more involved in Auron's fate than I had imagined. He never struck me as the type to use murder and deceit to get ahead, but that's the problem with greed. Or he's trying to hide something. The letter mentioned an intact squad sent to scout the old fort. If you can slip into town, sure, Bea should be told. But you didn't take my advice. You killed Redren soldiers. That's your trouble to deal with. Vivek wouldn't see worse if us today. He's a living bird. I'm sure he was just crazy. Back again? Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Riven was Oren's best friend. Would he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. There's no time to waste. That fort's near the cave where I was hiding. No. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed. I know the process. Turning in a rick can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave Naryu a note. She can... Let me gather my gear and write a note for Naryu. I'll meet you near the Hlormoran stronghold. As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't apply to me anymore. Besides, that's what the handbook says. Look, 
I know what Nari has done for me. To keep me safe, I appreciate that. But this is about what they did to my brother. No, never. You and Nariu aren't my enemies. I just need to get justice for Ulran. Otherwise his death will be the first of many. I know Vatala. He's a typical Redoran soldier. Loyal to a fault. Always spouting nonsense about house and honor above all. Ulran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably told Vatala and his soldiers to remain quiet. You're here, I'm here, the damn cultists are here. You know who isn't here? Vatala and his squad. Naryu's probably busy clearing her writ, and we don't have time to wait. Their orders were to scout the old stronghold. I suggest... Bedroll, still wrapped and ready to use. Standard issue for a Redoran soldier. Redoran officer's sword. No Redoran soldier will leave that behind me willingly. Corporal Darvel. I knew him. But the others, they're civilians. They must have taken Telen's soldiers inside. Locked. Figures. Let's see if one of these damn cultists has a key.
Let's find the soldiers and get out of here before these stupid cultists realize what's happening. Who's that? We won't let you take us without a fight. Wait, Bea, is that you? Thank the three! You're all still alive! I'm not sure what you and Vera are doing here, but let us out. Then we can return Vera to her father. This isn't the time or the place to have that discussion. One of the cultists carries the key. I don't think he's too far away. We here. You find the key. Me and Vatala. We're going to have a little chat. I'm just trying to protect you. From what? The truth? Oh, please. <laughs> like this. I knew I shouldn't have told Vera the truth. I just made everything worse. Please. I told her what she wanted to hear. I was with Captain Ulran the day everything happened. Was... My orders were to invite the Ashlanders to Balmora to trade, send some local toughs to instigate a commotion, and then get Ulran to investigate. Captain Briven, though he was still a lieutenant at the time, as soon as I explained all this to Vea, her face turned dark and she stormed out of here. I think she's going to Balmora to kill him. You need... How dare you! When House Redoran hears about this, you're going to regret your actions! Get your ass over here, hero. We've got a situation and it's not Hold. good. I think we should execute criminals on sight. But my captain won't allow it. He wants to now get lost, scum. I leave you and Vea alone for a couple of hours and everything goes to oblivion in an ore cart. You did what? I suppose you thought that was a good idea. That explains why Vea broke into the kin house. I'm not sure what happened in there, but she certainly stirred up the Redren soldiers. If Bea kills Briven without a writ, the Morog Tong and House Redren will both want her head on a silver platter. I can't believe Lord Vivek wouldn't see worshippers today. does not leave this city.
young woman. She killed them all, didn't she? She headed upstairs to, to Captain. What's the meaning of this? Where are the soldiers? If you're looking for my husband, I'll tell you the same thing that I told that brazen young woman. The council is meeting outside Balmora, and Briven is protecting the councillors. I could barely make sense of the nonsense she was spouting. It was Vea, Councillor Eris's daughter. She had a knife, but no, she didn't harm me. She said her brother wouldn't hurt an innocent, that I... You shouldn't get involved. That young woman will hasten her own death if she thinks she can get past my husband and his soldiers. Dead soldiers? They were just protecting the kin house. Oh. I will go stay with my sister in Vivek. Tell me you found Vea. Is Vea trying to get herself killed? You can't just barge into a Redran garrison and ask the soldiers to stand aside while you murder their captain. She murdered soldiers without a writ. This is a dark path she's decided to follow. <laughs> 